Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm uh, going to do a test of several uh, reloads, as you can see on my table there. They're all 55 grains, but various bullets, various powders, various uh, primers. The primary purpose of today is to show you the difference in feet per second of speed from a 16 inch barrel to a 20 inch barrel, and I will show you both. We're also shooting at 100 yards. I don't know if you can see the target down there or not, but uh, we'll also compare the groups, velocity, and the two different uh, rifle types. I'm also with my grandson today, who's up here. He's going to be my professional spotter. He's up here from the city to get out of that COVID hell and come up where clean air and grandpa is. So he's my buddy today. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll show you the results. Uh, first, the DPMS with a 16-inch barrel. It has a 4x16 scope on it. Uh, and I'm getting ready to shoot, so hang on. And there's my spotter, my grandson. Hi, Mikey. He's here to help Grandpa. He's up from the city out of the COVID-19 trap, getting some fresh air with Grandpa. Appreciate it. It's raining. It's raining. Okay, first up is uh, the 16-inch. Uh, again, I'm going to be using three different loads. So first up will be the 55-grain uh, uh, VMAX loaded with 26 grains of Power Pro Varmint. Uh, so stay tuned. Here we go. Twenty-nine thirteen. Twenty-nine seventy-two. Thirty-three. Okay, next up is the Nosler 55 grain VMAX. These are loaded with 27 grains of CFE. Uh, here we go. Let's see how they do in the 16 inch barrel. Twenty seven seventy three, so quite a bit slower. Okay, next up is Hornaday fifty five grain seconds with twenty seven grains of BLC two. We'll see what happens with these.
Okay, an average of 27.33 on these. Correction, 28.33. Okay, now we're going to do the same test with my Palmetto State with a 20 inch barrel, also in 5.56, but this rifle does have a 1 in 7 twist, so the lighter bullets I don't expect uh, to, uh, to group well. But again, we're just checking for velocity difference between a 16 inch barrel and a 20 inch barrel, just so you know. Uh, this one is armed with my UTG 4x16x44 uh, compact scope. All right, so hang tough and we'll get to shoot. Okay, now my Palmetto State Army, 20 inch barrel, 5.56, first up, 55 grain VMAX with 26 grains of Proud Pro Varmint. Here we go. Those average 3119. What? Okay, next up is the Nozzlers, the 55 grain. Uh, these are shooting uh, 27 grains of CFE 223. Alright, fire in the hole. an average of 29.64. Okay, last up is the uh, Hornaday Hollow Point Seconds by uh, Midway USA uh, loaded with 27 grains of BLC2. Again, this is in the 20 inch barrel. Iron hole. Twenty nine ninety four. Okay, back from the range, uh, as you can see it rained, uh, so it came home to do the final uh, test. On the right hand target is the 20 inch uh, Palmetto State Armory, on the left hand target is the 16 inch DPMS. Starting with the uh, 55 grain VMAX using Power Pro Varm at 26 grains, 180 feet per second difference between the 16 inch and the 20 inch. Uh, 3119 feet per second versus 2939. Moving up to the second load using uh, CFE 27 grains, 2964 of the Nosler 55 grain, 190 uh, feet per second difference between the 20 inch and the 16 inch. Um, pretty good little group there. Uh, also a pretty good little group here even though the feet per second was 2773. Okay, moving to the third and final load, B BLC2 with uh, 
with 27 grains, 30, 95 feet per second, uh, 222 feet per second difference between this, between the uh, 16 inch and the and the 19, uh, uh, 20 inch barrel, uh, 2833. Uh, but I want you to notice the point of impact shift uh, with the exact same bullet, but two different guns. Look at the point of impact shift. So that's why we reload. That's why we customize loads for a specific rifle. Uh, over here, clear over to the left. Over here, clear over to the right. A good two inches difference. Uh, of course, a different scope, different everything, but uh, uh, the groups are uh, uh, pretty much identical, but a point of impact shift. Then look at this one with the BLC2. Clear over to the left here and over to the right here. So that's kind of an interesting uh, scenario. Uh, anyway, I hope this... Uh, video helped. Uh, it is a good comparison. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.